again. Hey guys. Hello, hello uh, from uh, Refit Zone on our trimaran. The in war Poland. zone. <laughs> so today, uh, maybe not so a big topic because we just uh, got through the other big uh, change, changes on our yacht, uh, like electric versus diesel. And today we are discussing uh, electric or propane on a boat. As a means of cooking. So cooking. maybe for Anya it's not so important, that's why she's so skinny. But, yeah. but for me yes. it's really important, I have absolutely no reserves, so I have to eat good. Uh, so for me cooking is very important and uh, whether we cook on electric or propane is a big difference. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about that. <laughs> Welcome to Sail Oceans. As you may know, we spent the last six years cruising the Caribbean and the Americas. The boat needs a lot of work. We have recently crossed the Atlantic to go to Poland to do a major refit. There's a lot of decisions to be made. Some of them we already discussed, like switching to electric propulsion. Today we want to talk about propane versus electric cooking. <laughs> Yeah, of course, uh, cooking is really important and we are in the most important part of uh, each home, uh, even it, if it's uh, sailing or a traditional uh, kitchen or galley on the boat, it's one of the most important space and of course we cook and eat, so it's a really uh, serious okay, <laughs> decision. Yeah, so uh, electric became uh, more and more popular also on a boat. And at the moment, we are just uh, facing the decision. Facing the decision. Uh, the should we, so what should we do? Uh, because for the last six years, uh, we've been cooking all the time on the propane. Uh, so at the moment, I, those who uh, uh, have been following us for the last five years <laughs> have, seen, have, seen, seen, have seen rusty, this. Rusty tools. Have seen this and have seen our, our propane. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oven yeah. um, and so but let's backtrack let's let's do a little bit of fundamental um, uh, knowledge here why hasn't electric been popular on sailboats for a very mm -hmm. extremely simple reason it's extremely power hungry yeah. uh, in order to cook on electric you need uh, uh, basically a generator or a really large set of uh, um, solar panels uh, and uh, lithium batteries uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to correspond with it, mm -hmm. or big acid batteries. Uh, so that's why it hasn't caught on for a long time. Uh, propane has been easy, it's uh, very, uh, how should I say, energy dense, meaning uh, there is a lot of uh, kilowatts per kilogram, uh, kilowatt hours per kilogram in terms of propane, uh, so uh, it, it's easy in that sense. What's not easy about propane is that every single country, even here in EU, in European Union, every single country has a different bottle, has a different regulator mm -hmm. and different thread. And it's a nightmare when you, uh, when you, you sail, switch. when you need to switch in every single country, you need to switch a bottle and then you end up with a bottle that you have nowhere to, to, to stow, nowhere to dispose of. It's basically a nightmare. Mm. Uh, some countries that are not so strict about regulations, or maybe not so, how should I say, uh, yeah, strict, um, or uh, particular about the re regulations, at least we can refill other countries' uh, bo bottles. Uh, but uh, um, all the countries, how should I say, first world countries, have very strict regulations, and they only service the bottles that have their own national thread, or national connection, or national shape and color, and everything else. Uh, so that it's been definitely a major uh, con mm -hmm. of uh, bottles, logistically speaking. But how many bottles, uh, gas bottles, do we have? Like six. Have six. Two yes. Spanish ones, two American ones, and two French. So, so, so that's a point number one. Mm. Point number one is the gas bottles and their uh, how they fit and how you have to get a new one in every single country. Mm. Point number two is is very obvious: eco, right? We're mm. burning fossil fuel, whether you like it or not. We're producing CO two. We're producing uh, uh, greenhouse gases. Not exactly our favorite way of doing things. Um, so. 
going electric is an obvious choice in this case uh, because we're simply not releasing any, mm -hmm. any greenhouse gases mm -hmm. and we're uh, completely, in our case, when we have large solar panels, we're basically using a completely renewable energy to cook, which mm -hmm. is, feels really good. Um, so that's a point number two. Mm. Um, so what are our uh, like a decision to make? Because yeah, we need, we're gonna change the the oven and uh, the, 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 the the what was the name in English? The cooktop. Oh, the cooktop. Yes, correct. So what we thought in the beginning that we're gonna switch both to electric because we want to uh, put more solar panels on the yacht, mm -hmm. but. In somehow I was thinking that maybe we're gonna go for electric with the oven because it's easier to buy an electric at the moment because we, we're gonna buy an yeah, just, just normal important. normal uh, home uh, home oven. appliance yes. yes home appliance not like a yacht uh, yacht one so it's gonna be cheap and easy to buy because that's gonna be like a few hundred US dollars for an oven probably mm -hmm. more or mm -hmm. less and then. Uh, maybe leaving uh, propane as an uh, alternative in case electric is bad, there's a really bad weather and we're not, we not sure that we're gonna uh, stay Have with enough, the enough generator. Energy. Mm -hmm. So it's a problem because then we can always switch because you can always cook uh, in the oven some, some here. So this is so, what was so, my, my well, idea to be well, more like a... I think what yes. Anya is pointing to is, is this alternative uh, solution, sort of a hybrid solution that I was thinking about uh, for the last few months was that, um, because there's, uh, th that's another story. Another story is that our, there's a company that really wants to sell us a, this, this super uh, efficient uh, gas uh, cooktop that's Maybe that's completely why flat, it's the, the decision. You know, and it's, it, it is really nice, because but it, it, looks still amazing. Burns, it yeah. still burns gas, right? Yeah. So the idea was to, uh, to use that one, but also have an electric burner mm -hmm. uh, next to it. Like um, so basically we could have a choice of using either gas or electric in case of uh, bad weather, uh, you know, no uh, sufficient charging from mm -hmm. the solar panels, we could use the gas. But whenever we have, we have plenty of, uh, of electricity, we just use the electrical. Mm -hmm. um, of course, that's going to take up a lot more space on the, on the, um, uh, on the stove, but we would do just a, just a two burner for the electric. Or just put it somewhere two as, burner a store, for the electric as a As a spur. Where, you know. But then we're going to end up using the, the, uh, the gas all the time. Yeah. Because it's going to be easier, you know. Yeah. So that's how you, you know how that's going to go. So anyway, guys, uh, the question for today is basically, what would you go with? Yeah. What, what are your experience? What, what is your experience? Have you ever I mean, switched to electric from propane, and uh, did you like it, or did you find it easy? And, and most importantly, is there anybody who switched back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> little break. The little break. <laughs> Phone calls, yes. Uh, while so, repeating, so, so yeah. So is, is there anybody who went from propane to electric and then went back to propane because mm -hmm. there is something we don't know? Probably. Yeah. Thank you for all the comments and yeah. Again, like. We're gonna appreciate. Subscribe. When you yeah. subscribe, click the little bell with the notification all, and uh, see you next time. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers. Segredos dentro da floresta de luz pra te amar, pra te amar. Abre a consciência dos seus filhos a crescer.